Hi, thanks for joining me today for the Lockdown Lectionary. This week we're going to be looking at Psalm 96, one of the enthronement psalms, and we'll talk about what enthronement means, as well as celebrate the beauty of God's creation along with the psalmist. So here from Psalm 96 are verses 1 through 9. O oh, sing to the Lord a new song, sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, bless his name, tell of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous works among the peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He is to be revered above all gods. For all the gods of the peoples are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before him, strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, O families of the peoples, ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in holy splendor. Tremble before him all the earth. Well, as I mentioned earlier, Psalm 96 is one of a group of psalms that are called the Enthronement Psalms. In case you're wondering, the others are Psalm 93 and Psalms 97 through 99. They are referred to in that way because they depict or allude to God being enthroned over all of the world. And while that's not an unusual concept before, for us, and, and while we celebrate God as our creator, redeemer, and sustainer of everything, uh, the original intent of these psalms was likely to contrast the God of Israel with the many other local deities that abounded in the ancient Near East. Many of Israel's neighbors would have had huge annual celebrations at which one of their most important local gods or idols was placed or enthroned in a very prominent place in the community. The Israelites would have especially been aware of the elaborate annual celebrations of the Babylonian god king Marduk. So hymns of praise, like Psalm 96, seek to counter those celebrations with a depiction of God seated not in some local sort of throne, but rather on a heavenly throne, ruling over all of the nations, not just some. It's not so much a, a copycat move on the part of the psalmist as it is setting up a comparison that the God of Israel, the one true God, was more powerful, glorious, and awesome than any statue could ever be. It makes some people uncomfortable to learn that some things in the Bible are there because they mimic other cultures and religions. But the truth is that in just about every case, God is always shown as more loving, more benevolent, and more concerned for the well-being of his people than all of the false gods combined. Let's pray. God, we offer you praise and sing of your glory. Help us to be mindful of our need to worship your majesty. Amen. Well, thanks for joining me today. Be sure to check out the musical selection in the comments below. Be safe, stay at home, and wear your mask. Peace be with you.